got a little order, I got a little order. Yeah, I got a little order. My car got cooler. Before Spot'em got him, would crack the Billboard 100 with his viral track Beatbox 2, which inspired the June Bug Challenge. Before Spot'em got him, would get locked up for Grand Theft Auto and carrying a concealed weapon at the age of just 15, which means at the time he wasn't even old enough to drive. Before Spot'em got him, would clock in over 600,000 followers on Instagram, a quarter million on YouTube, and he would collab with the likes of Jack Boy, Hot Boy, The Baby, Pooh Shiesty, and do the June Bug Challenge alongside Johnny Day. <laughs> Florida rapper Spot'em Got'em first blew up off his breakout single, Street Gossip, released three years ago. He's had a steady incline in the time since, but then Spot'em Got'em released the video for Beatbox 2 on December 18th, featuring a guest appearance from one of the hottest rising rappers in the game, Pooh Shiesty. Five days after its release, Junebug posted a TikTok video of him dancing to the song and creating his own routine. It was these one-of-a-kind moves that blew up a beatbox 2's reach, allowing Spot'em got him to crack the Billboard 100. That dance is certainly one-of-a-kind and hard to explain. First you stand in place and pop your torso and begin going back and forth while doing that. You take your arms and move them robotically on the sides. Or just, just watch my video. <laughs> It was very aggressive, I know. Very aggressive. Spot'em Gotem is now on his way to the kind of viral fame that one can only dream of, and with early comparisons to fellow Florida rapper Kodak Black, the kid's on the right path to becoming a superstar. What's poppin' guys, the boy Marlon Palmer taking a look at the come up of Spot'em Gotem here for you on Before They're Famous. We did a recent update on Kodak Black and we are always on the lookout for new and up and comers, so please be sure to hit us up in the comments down below. We're also thinking about making a video on Lil Easy, so let us know who is next in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys right after the intro. Spot'em Gotem was born Nehemia Hardin on October 19, 2001, and is from Jacksonville, Florida. He got into rapping through his uncles, who recorded their own raps out of a studio garage. He cites Chicago rapper Chief Keef as one of his main influences, and let's just be real, Chief Keef is the father to a lot of these guys out here. Anywhere I go, I just can't leave without my phone. Now me in the right, it's like I'm always in the wrong. I think I'm in too deep, I told my mama to be strong. We have scoured the internet and the info on his formative years is still a little patchy, but we did find tons of info about the arrest that took place when he was just 15 years old. Two teens armed with guns were arrested for stealing a car in their community. Now deputies say the teens were casing the neighborhood in World Golf Village with a third person who is still on the run. According to local news reports, two Jacksonville teenagers were arrested near World Golf Village on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto and carrying a concealed weapon. St. John's County deputies were looking for a third person who drove off in the stolen vehicle, probably because as I mentioned, young Nehemia still wasn't old enough to drive. Nehemia and his friend Chadrick were arrested after being spotted walking on International Golf Parkway with guns. Deputies say the suspect who stole the truck was supposed to pick up the other two teens after their car broke down on this road, but he drove off instead. Why a neighbor thinks the problems in this area could only be getting worse. As for what else we know about his activities during these early years of his life from leaked paperwork, which detailed his activities in stealing bullets to sell on the streets. The police searched his house and there were some pills and handguns located when police searched the home. Rapper Young Yeen Ace used this info to take aim at Spot'em, but he was quick to respond, shooting down all snitch allegations. And all that talking like you gang, you better live that. But y'all, hey, that juju, that nigga don't rap him. Not on Murder gonna tell y'all is a uh, push that blog. To be fair, I mean, the kid was still only 15. Let's focus on what got us here, his career. The oldest video on his YouTube channel is from 2018, 
Still Babyface, the young artist released Street Gossip, which today has over one and a half million views. He followed up with Thug Harmony with a music video that showed off his local Jacksonville, Florida. Around this time, he also got started on Instagram, posting pics like this with his homie Boss Hog Baby. Money certainly didn't appear to be an issue for him, posting photos of stacks every chance he could get. He's released a number of follow-up projects, including his Osama Story mixtape, and established himself as a wild card for Florida's next generation of rising artists, who could blow up at any time. It didn't take long for that to happen with the original Beatbox released just 10 months ago that went viral with over 20 million views at the time of this recording. Now with the hit on his hands, it didn't take long for him to capitalize on his success with Beatbox 2 alongside Pooh Shiesty, and this is where the whole Junebug dance craze came into play. Instagram, TikTok, and all around social media entertainer Junebug, a 24-year-old dancer out of California, jumped on the track early on. Five days after its release to be precise, Junebug posted a TikTok video of him dancing to the song and creating his own routine, purposely trying to make a viral dance. Purposely trying to make anything viral usually does not work, so we gotta give it up to Junebug. At the time, Bobby Shmurda was just getting released from prison and this dance was inspired by Bobby's infamous Shmoney dance and its unique style. Titled the Junebug Dance and christened the Junebug Challenge, it quickly went viral with people all over the internet joining in on the fun. Kevin Hart, Meek Mill, and Sweetie have recorded their own versions of it. LeBron James has even done the moves publicly. As the dance grows even bigger as more people attempt it, the accompanying song Beatbox 2 also became a cultural phenomenon. On the Billboard Hot 100 chart dated for January 25th, Spotted Gums Beatbox made its debut at number 84 on the chart, largely off the back of its TikTok success. The rapper initially didn't seem to credit Junebug for his role in making the song popular, but eventually even he had to give in and has been seen doing the dance himself. Tripling down, Spotted Gums has a Beatbox 3 with the baby they dropped just last week. The audio has clocked in 1.5 million views at the time of this recording, but the music video is gonna be a viral hit for sure. Alright, that's all we got on this one. Congrats to Spot him, got him on all his success. We likely will need to do an update on him, or maybe we can get an interview like we did with Pooh Shiesty. Also, shout out to the baby who just followed us. Follow us on Instagram for more news and updates, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!